In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the monster deck. We're also going to be playing the herbalist in Skellige. Now, some peculiarities of the monster deck is that they are lacking in... They don't aren't um, completely void of siege units, but their siege units are fairly weak. They lack tight bond. And at one at, at a single glance, you can surmise that the strength of the strength of uh, the monster deck is going to be close combat. And the close combat has uh, the close combat section has several uh, several very easy counters, mainly weather counters. So what I'm going to what I'm going to make sure that I have is I'm going to make sure that I have clear weather. And since uh, range is a significant weakness. Uh, it could be a good idea to bring cards that that limit the ranged effectiveness of of an opponent. I'm not going to do that now, however. Um, and I'm playing against the Nilf Guardian Empire, and I should I should have had uh, should have had a um, card that that limits the effectiveness of ranged against Nilf Guard because Nilf Guard can bring some very strong range. Now another peculiarity of the of the um, of the um, monster deck is that they have these units that with w when you see the ability that 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 looks like uh, two helmets next to each other uh, that means that once you play one of these cards it's going to pull the cards from your deck that are similar to that card and they are in the same series and it's going to be played instantly now what that means is that if I for example would have had four necro cards here or three ne necro cards in my starting hand then all of those would be played at once and i would essentially be fucked so what i want to make sure as uh, make sure of as the monster monster deck is that i don't have two of the same uh, two of the same card that gets played instantly and in this case the crones they do have that ability so i only want one crone in my hand and now I got the commander's horn, which of course is great for the monsters. I have one clear weather to clear any weather effects. And then I have one commander's horn to increase the strength of my my um, my most important line. So okay, we'll we'll try this. And and the cards that I have now, they are it's not a great hand. I don't have the complete monster deck, but it, it's a decent enough hand. So I'm not playing with too many heroes this time because I want to. Uh, I want to show the 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 um, uniqueness of the monster deck. So I'm going to play my Necker. It's my lowest value card. I'm just going to match my opponent's card. But the Necker is going to pull a body from my hand or from my from my stack of cards and play that. So so playing that one card allowed me to play two cards. And now I'm going to keep matching my opponent with my lowest value card. Now these va cards are actually of higher value than they seem because they're going to pull cards out from the stack and they're going to get played as well. So I want to, I want to wait a bit with that card. Now I could play uh, this, uh, this card, but I want to play a siege card because I don't want to spend all my... Or actually I'm going to play that card. Um, only going for melee could be a bad idea this early. And here you see, uh, it, it would be great for me to have a card that would limit the effectiveness of, of the opponent's range because Nilfgaard has those um, those black infantry archers. So, uh, let's see here. I don't want to use my crone because that will pull out all the three crones, uh, giving me 18 combat strength. So I'm going to use a siege card. And my opponent is going to get a tight bond uh, here, which is going to help him. Uh, now, the tight bond is also something that is lacking from the monster, from the monster stockpile. And once again, having a card that limited the effectiveness of my opponent's uh, range would now be very good. So I'm going to pull out the commander horn quite early here. Let's see how my opponent responds to that. And this is an, another f another peculiarity of the of the the monster deck is that their faction trait is that one of their cards will stay in play after the round is done. So now you can see by playing that one card, 
I managed to do something that would have been unpredictable. I managed to um, to play a siege card because I had that, and all of these other Arakas cards got played instantly as well. And the same thing is um, that is that is also unique. You can play one card that plays cards in several categories. So I got suddenly I got a lot out of my siege line. Now I want to save my crones because they are very powerful. So I'm going to play the vampire. And I should have changed out that vampire card as well, because uh, not changing out that vampire card meant that I uh, played two cards at once unnecessarily. So now I'm just going to pass this round. My opponent played a spy card, and here comes the biting frost, and that is the death sentence of the monster of the monster uh, line. But one of my uh, one of my cards remains on the field. So Biting Frost has been played by my opponent again. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to just remove that effect from play. My opponent can't have any more Biting Frost. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to just let the round be played out. And because that card stayed in play, I win the round. The card once again stays in play, so I could win the round just by waiting it out, but I'm going to play my crones, and that one card suddenly turns into three cards, and there you have it. Even though my opponent had a decent enough anti-monster build with two freezing colds, the monster deck is very easy to win with. It's arguably not as powerful as the northern uh, as the northern deck, but I quite like the monster deck. You just get so many cards in play, and it's a lot of fun. So try out the monster card. It's a bit more of a challenge than the northern than the northern deck, but you can do some really fun things with the tight bond cards uh, by playing one card and then getting a bunch of cards showing up on the proverbial battlefield. Strength and honor. I recognize your type a mile away.